All right, it's tea time, and today we are sipping and learning from the experts at Chato. I'm Laura Fong, your host for Common Sense, and we're gonna explore the hundreds of teas they offer, and of course, indulge in the afternoon tea service. Chado is not only about selling tea, we are also about teaching tea. Come in for an afternoon cup of tea and a freshly baked scone and stay to learn about the more than 400 different kinds of teas at Chado Tea Room in Old Torrance. We first try to see what kind of knowledge you have on tea first, then guide you through the process. If you're here to buy tea, we will just ask you a couple of questions and have you smell a couple of teas and see if you want caffeine or no caffeine, flavored or not flavored, green tea or white tea. Then once we use those process of elimination, we would just direct you to the tea that you like. Oh my gosh, I just want to eat these leaves. They smell so good, the Alice in Wonderland. Tech Murtub is the CEO and COO of Chato. It first opened in 1990 and third in La Cienega. Since then, Chato Tea Room has opened locations in Pasadena, downtown LA, Hollywood, and Torrance. Over the years, Chato has quietly revolutionized the way people in Los Angeles think about tea. And the word Chato itself is a Chinese and a Japanese word. Cha means tea and do means the way. So if you put them together, it means the way of tea. And uh, in another way, our mission statement is basically just teaching and spreading the tea culture. Tech actually started with the company as a cook and quickly found a love for tea. Owners Devin and Raina Shaw inspired him to steep deeper into Chato. So in 1999, Tech became a business partner with the Shaws. Every Saturday I had an opportunity to work with Devin. So when he comes to the tea shop, he would bring different samples and we would taste, uh, we would cup the different teas together. So that actually I started appreciating the quality of the teas. Devin was the tea buyer for the company before he passed away. He imports all the different teas from India, China, Japan, Africa. He imports over 800 different teas. Chato can be broken down into three parts, the loose leaf teas, which is their core business, the tea room, and retail. We do our own blends. All our teas are fresh. We have a warehouse. When we need them, we actually blend the teas. To go with their loose leaf teas, Chato has everything tea drinkers need to brew a cup or pot. You just have to provide them with the things that they need to make those teas at home. So it starts with that. Then it just grows into a uh, different type of accessories where people could use for gifting or for tea parties or different occasions. And when it comes to the tea room, it's the perfect place for lunch or a party like a birthday where you can order the afternoon tea service. A three-tier tower with sandwiches, a fresh baked scone served with a delicious chato cream and dessert. Usually when you think of tea rooms, you think of just girls or ladies going out for tea. But, I mean, it's completely different where you come on a weekend or on a Saturday or Sunday at Chato, you will be completely surprised. The room would be half and half. You would have a lot of guys. The tea room is growing in popularity. It helps that tea doesn't actually cost that much when you break it down. A very premium tea that you could think of that you sell for $15, $12 an ounce is even cheaper than a can of soda. Tea is um, the most affordable luxury beverage. This episode is just starting to steep. When we come back, we start tasting tea to kick off the tea challenge one sip at a time. When you come first, we would have you on this page. 
Okay. This page describes all the different type of uh, teas that we have and it would just guide you to the page that you should be looking into because we don't expect somebody to make the decision two mm. minutes or three minutes of what type of tea they like. Welcome back. I hope your taste buds and senses are ready. Today we're exploring Chato, a tea room known for their huge selection of loose leaf teas and helpful staff who will guide you to the tea you're in the mood for. If you really want us to direct you to the tea that you like, I personally suggest people asking different questions or even tell them the teas that you don't like. If you've never tried tea before, the perfect way to get acquainted with it is a tea tasting. Today, Orlando will walk us through the six main types of tea. We're going to be covering six different types of teas. The first tea that we have over here is going to be a white tea called Yen Zin. The second tea is going to be a yellow tea from China called Yellow Barrel Tongue. A Japanese green tea, which is going to be a Japanese Yokoro. Then we have a nice oolong from China as well. This is going to be called our monkey picked oolong. Our fifth tea is going to be a black tea, which is going to be a Darjeeling. And then we do have a nice tea right over here. I believe our sixth tea, which is going to be our ginger orange pu'er. This tea tasting came with a blooming tea, which is exactly what it sounds like. A flower is wrapped in a ball with silk thread, flavored with fruits like lychee and mango, that blooms as it steeps. As I'm sharing with you, it's actually blooming, blossoming, and displaying. But this is going to be a characteristic, there we go. It's not just about trying the teas, though. This is also about educating people. This yellow tea has been around for thousands of years. One of the first teas ever known to be produced and manufactured. And get this, the monkey-picked oolong is named that for a reason. Studies had shown that what they did is they actually played on the tea leaf and then humans helped gather them up, so they started calling it monkey-picked oolong. Plus, each tea has different characteristics that could have health benefits. This pu'er is kind of like an espresso, but as in a tea. This right here is really helps out developing a strong digestive system where it strengthens your stomach lining. Orlando says generally the darker the tea, the more caffeine, but there are a lot of factors. With some of our caffeine, the intangibles would be you actually can go ahead and enjoy a nice tea depending on how hot, hot your Fahrenheit is. The amount of spoon you use per cup size, four, eight, or nice pot size, and then the length of time of steeping. Don't worry, coffee lovers. Chato has something for you, but don't expect to get as much caffeine from it. If you've never had tea before, and if you're a coffee person, most of the time we like suggesting our house tea or Mauritius tea. The tea grows naturally between vanilla fields, and it would have more of a taste of coffee without being very caffeinated. Uh, just generally speaking, if you take a strong cup of coffee and a strong cup of tea, tea would have like one third the caffeine. Tech says teaching people about tea instead of just selling it to them is better for business. That basically builds our customers as well as gives them a chance to try the actual teas that they like versus just selling them a tea that smells good or that probably when they go home and try it, it's completely different. There are plenty of teas to choose from, and if you try them all, Chato will name one after you. We promise them that if you try every single tea that we have, we will have you go to our warehouse and have you blend a tea, and we'll name it you know, whatever name you like. There is a lot to sample. Chato also offers blends that aren't technically tea, but are considered part of the tea family. And they're a certified organic tea room, so traditional teas enhanced with organic flavors. Finding someone that's really excited about tea, someone that loves tea, or someone that's just getting into tea and has a lot of questions about tea, um, that is the best part of the tea industry. Before you dive into the tea challenge, this episode is still brewing. When we come back, we'll learn how this ancient drink is always changing.
unlike any other business, after working here, after even about 17, 18 years, I'm still learning. From tasting hundreds of teas to finding a favorite, Chato has something for everyone. The tea that you taste this year and the tea that you taste next year, even from the same cultivar, from the same plantation, it's completely different because of the natural factors. So when you cap those teas, you're constantly tasting and challenging your taste buds. After all these years in the industry, Tech knows his tea and he can spot new locations. We suggested Torrance because seeing uh, the business in downtown, there are a few hotels that do tea. In Pasadena, there are quite a few. Whereas in Torrance or in the south side, there is pretty much none. The South Bay location opened in February 2017 and Tech says the community was very welcoming. Torrance actually really embraced us because we didn't have to do any advertising at all. Uh, you just have to do our tea service that we've been doing for 20 years and do it right in Torrance and word of mouth is the best advertising that we have been getting. Of course, any new location has its challenges, especially for Chato, since each of their tea rooms are set up in very different parts of town. We knew this is a great location. We knew this was a great area, but we never thought like we all fill the space. In addition to the tea rooms and wholesale tea, Chato also takes part in events like the annual tea festival, renamed in honor of Devin Shaw. We will be having it at the Pasadena Convention Center. So we are planning to have about 40 to 45 tea vendors and anywhere from 25 to 3,000 people. And they host a charity event. Rina had a disabled brother for 40 years. So back in 2012, Chato started doing tea for siblings of the disabled. Building on their success, Chato Tea Room plans to offer more classes to customers to really explore tea and all its possibilities. We're in the process of working and creating different classes. We actually did our very first class, which is uh, a Japanese tea ceremony and English tea service. We're planning on turmeric tea tasting. Turmeric is one of our new blends, which we don't have even on the book yet. Plus different pairing classes like chocolate and tea, cheese and tea, and cocktails and tea. Tea could work as a great base for cocktails because it doesn't give you a headache or it doesn't give you any of the side effects the next morning. Whether you're an avid tea drinker or never had a cup before, Chato is ready for you to come in and explore their hundreds of teas. At the end of the day, we are all about teaching. We want the customer to come back, enjoy the tea, come back and come more and more again yeah. and bring other people. Thank you so much to Chato for welcoming the Common Sense crew to the tea room and letting us explore the teas. If you're ready for your own tea experience and tasting, you can head to 1303 El Prado Avenue or give them a call at 424-757-5222. And please head to our Facebook page, Common Sense Torrance, and like us. And to see more episodes, please subscribe to our YouTube page, Torrance City Cable. There are obviously hundreds of teas at Chato, but I'm ready to take on the tea challenge one tea at a time to get one named after me and the baby. I just want to thank you so much for watching Common Sense. We offer you a rare behind the scenes look at local businesses and explore the secrets to their success.